Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us today, finding some time out of your busy schedules to attend our webinar. Uh, the topic of our today's session is maximize the ROI of your Magento marketing, how to get more sales with minimum efforts and budget. Our session will include a question section after the presentations of our speakers, so please feel free to put your questions into the chat box and we'll answer them after the speeches are over. Today we have a co-branded webinar hosted by Promoto and MSP companies. And so before we start, I would like to mention in a few words uh, who those companies are and why we think we are entitled to speak on today's topic. So Promoto company uh, has been providing complex online marketing services for nine years now, since 2004. Since that time, we have gained Google Analytics and Google AdWords partnership certificates, won a couple of top SEOs badges and nominations by Promotion World magazine. Also, we have become marketing partners of Shopify and Xcard e-commerce platforms and have worked with more than 350 clients worldwide, helping them solve various online marketing issues they faced. Uh, and our partners, uh, a master company, develop extensions for Magento-based websites. They've been very good and competitive on this market since 2009. Currently, they serve more than 2,000 stores monthly, and uh, they are creators of more than 80 highly efficient Magento extensions, which can be installed uh, in as little as six clicks. And MST boasts uh, their customers' return rate of more than uh, 7 to 6%, which proves the quality of their work. You can see the area in which Master develop their extensions on the screen. Uh, and now I would like to introduce our today's speakers who will actually share their insights on the topic. Uh, Paul Razanov is uh, the representative of Promoter Company. He is our business um, development director. Uh, he's an international speaker, internet marketing expert with more than 12 years of experience um, and a conversion rate optimization expert and enthusiast. And Victoria Lianenka, um, marketing executive at Masti, a marketing evangelist who loves to bind hearts of marketing and e-commerce. Uh, she participates in product development from customer side at Masti. Um, and now I'm actually giving the floor to Paul, who will start talking. Uh, hello everyone, uh, and if you can just switch me as a presenter, and yeah, awesome. So thank you for joining us today, and um, I will start my maybe about 29 advice. Some of those advice could be basic, but after I had a chance to review you know, more than hundreds of the Magento installations, I have to make sure that a lot of you guys who is managing the Magento store you don't really follow all of those things. First of all, my first advice is verify that you set up Google Analytics correctly and verify that you actually collect and set up the codes. That's basically the screen when you go to your Google Analytics profile, you find out the conversions and then there is the goals and other new section. If your section appear like that, make sure that you follow step-by-step -step advice and create your own goal reports. Uh, the the goal report you can you can click on the admin, then select goals, and then you can you know set up multiply goals. The goals could be uh, how many pages you know the, the specific visitor view it. Uh, but in many cases, you just need one goal that will showcase the funnel, the conversion funnel basically, and. For different kind of Magento uh, checkout extensions, it could be one page checkout, it could be one step checkout or awesome checkout. You have to specify the the destination URL and some steps. So make sure that you specify those steps correctly. At the end of the day, if you do this pretty well, you will be able to see how people are going through your conversion funnel and how many people leaving on every step of your checkout process. Uh, just to make sure that you actually track not traffic but actual sales, I would recommend you to enable e-commerce tracking with the Google Analytics tools. That, that's, the first, that's the second advice. So make sure that if you go to 
Google Analytics, e-commerce, and other new, your section does not really look like that. The section is supposed to show really the conversion rates, it's supposed to show the transaction, the revenue, the average order value, and you know that's that might be really really useful information. And uh, then you will be able to track different uh, traffic sources, different campaigns, and see the impact in terms of conversion rates. Uh, the average conversion rates. If if you can take a look in, into your Google Analytics, make sure that the, your conversion rate is something in between 1.5 to 3.5 percent. That's the average for the retail business. If your conversion rate is like 0 0.8, which is kind of, uh, I mean, for different niches, the conversion rate might be different, of course, and the different channels might, you know, generate a different conversion rate, but the average needs to be in between 1.5 and 3.5. If you have even more, that's the good thing that you guys do. Uh, what we actually tack, uh, track while we are doing the conversion rate optimization, we take a look at different kind of sources and um, you, you can do this the same. And you can see that basically we track how many sessions we generate and we see their revenue. Uh, mostly the money is the best way to track. And uh, this way you can basically analyze the different sources within within the best um, you know be, you know best metrics as a revenue, and then you can exclude the different campaigns if you you know if those campaigns does not really produce any sales. Um, you have to make sure that you track the conversion rate separately for different kind of sources, and uh, in our experience, the most you know useful conversion rates is organic traffic. Uh, Google cost per click also uh, number two, uh, email marketing number three for most of our clients, and the social channels that's the number four. That's four different channels that are most profitable for our clients. Uh, I would recommend you to actually uh, track not only you know usability and the traffic. I recommend you to take a look going back to our you know um, sales funnel to recommend every, to track every single step. You will be able to take a look how many people actually start your checkout process, how many people actually you know complete the first step, how many of them go to step number two, and that's very important to identify what kind of screen on your checkout funnel is actually doing that, and if maybe you can. You know, run some A/B testing and you know, and make sure that you fix all those possible mistakes. Especially when you don't have much traffic, uh, it's very hard to analyze because there is not enough statistics. And um, I think that you know, some extra data that we will share during this presentation might be worth to take a look. Um, also, in terms of the marketing. Maybe you can take a look in your Google Analytics and you can analyze the base date and time for your campaigns. So this is the sample screen and sometimes it's really important for you to take a look at what kind of day of the week it's good to run the campaign. So for example, you can track by different sources, you can track at what kind of day email marketing campaign you know, produce the best results, at what kind of days, let's say, see cost per click, you know, uh, produce better results. And this way you can relocate your budget between different channels and set the specific dates and times. Um, this is the common this is the common channel and uh, you can see I you know basically um, try to showcase you by by the traffic. Um, so and so the, the same way you can do for the revenue as you can see that your traffic produce you know the best results, organic traffic, email marketing, cost per click, Facebook ads. So probably those channels, you know, you have to run your marketing campaign related for the branding, for search engine optimization, email marketing, AdWords, social and affiliate. Those major five channels or six channels that you have to use to to generate the good you know good income. Uh, you have to remember that when you do the marketing, you don't have to focus only on the one channel. Because right now, uh, it's very important to touch 
clients maybe seven times before they buy something. And you can take a look into your Google Analytics and you can verify that people actually, you know, they generate transaction after they see the ad or after they touch your site through the multiply channels. So that's very important to understand. And if you do organic traffic, you have to do a little bit of this, you know, cost per click as well. You have to do a little bit of the Facebook ads. As that's very important to, to do in common. Uh, one of the tools that I would recommend to any Magento business owner or um, it's uh, metricalandandex.com. This is the free, free uh, heat mapping tool that is kind of very similar to Google, but um, together with um, data about the traffic, it generates for you some heat mapping. If you create the account within the um, Yandex Metrica, you will be able to generate the account report. Make sure that you turn on the video tracking and you turn off the informer. So once you do that, you can generate this code, you can embed this code into your website, and then the Yandex Metrica will start collecting the stats. And you will be able then to, by using you know, the Yandex Metrica tool called Behavior Click Map, you will be able to see actually what people are doing on your site. That's kind of string that helps you to understand what sections of your site is really used and what sections on your site is, you know, it's, it's really that people are not really using them. So for example, here, the save money, you know, um, image here does not really make any sense because people don't really use those. Uh, you can take a look on the left side and see that some of the categories are more popular than others, and this way you can rearrange them maybe. Uh, you can take a look what kind of products are most popular, how people click on that, and so on. Um, you can scroll down and see how people actually behave on the page, what they clicked on, and stuff like that. Uh, you can take a look at your product listing ads, see how people navigate through the, the paging, what kind of sort options they use, and so on. So every single page you'll be able to track them all those things and adjust your you know websites accordingly. I feel that you know it costs you nothing, but that might bring you a lot of value. That might help you to understand that most of the data that you currently you know put on your site are not really used. And for example, for the product detail page, if you keep the left navigation, people don't really use those. And maybe it makes sense to disable some of the you know parts of the page, improve the page load speed and stuff like that. So if you go ahead, you can you know keep in mind you can track all those checkout things. You can tr and and finally within the Gambix Metrica, you can find out the WebVisor tool. It's underneath the behavior and then WebVisor that actually record every single visit as the video. You will be able to see how people actually, you know, what people are actually doing on your site uh, from by the country, by the keywords and stuff like that. You will be able to replay every single visit and make sure what's actually lead um, people to leave your site without buying anything. You can actually forward different things. You can actually you know, filter by different options. You can set up specific goals if necessary, and then filter all those visits and just you know just see very specific visits. Uh, also, I suggest you to check your site. That's we are already talking about about the marketing. So I suggest you to check your site that all of the pages actually index that there is no duplicate content. You can do this pretty easily when you type site and then your site name. And then this helps you to actually see how, how Google will see your site. Uh, you can, first of all, you have to do you know, a little bit of the keywords research and then put those keywords into um, Google Keyword Planner tool and then maybe start getting other keywords using the sandbrush.com. By using those keywords, you can optimize your site for different organic results and those keywords might be used for you to blog. Uh, another thing is, you know, most important to make sure that your titles are actually optimized. Make sure that uh, your titles contain some keywords 
make sure that it contains the brand, make sure that you put your brand name uh, at the end of the title. Uh, keep in mind the description is really useful and the better description you, you know, put, the better click through rate will be on the Google results. And you can see that the visible part of um, description is only 512 pixels long. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Make sure that you optimize every single page with unique content. Make sure that you use H1, H2 tags. Uh, avoid any kind of duplicate content. Every single page needs to be unique. If you have any pages with you know, manufacturer description, try to improve you know, some warnings, try to put some really, you know, um, native feedback about this product. Um, try to keep balance between text and images on every single page. Uh, make sure that you also optimize images with alt and title text, uh, because sometimes you can see that Google, you know, brings you not just uh, text results, but also images. And that might be a good option for you to be on the first page in Google. Uh, also, make sure that you implement the products needed uh, for every product detail page. Um, in this particular case, you can see that we showcase the rating of the product, how many reviews we've got, and uh, the pricing also. So the benefits are uh, for such kind of results might be a good fit for you. So if you don't really rank number one on the page, if you run number four or five and have the snippets on the first page, that helps you to get more clicks actually. And you can always use the schema.org to generate the snippet code. Um, make sure that you know Google loves the user uh, reviews, uh, user generated tags. So make sure that you optimize actually um, your for, for example, plugin for the Magenta. That helps you to very easy to get reviews for, uh, from every single client. Um, also, I would suggest you to you know, record maybe 30 seconds or one uh, minute video about every of your product and then embed this video into your product detail page. That helps you to drive some video traffic from YouTube and also video is always helping you to increase the conversion rates. Um, for sure, it does not matter if that's Magento or you know any other e-commerce platform. Running the blog helps you to drive a lot more traffic. You know, uh, when what we do for our clients, we actually create about three to six articles per month, and we also connect a Google Plus profile uh, to the blog. So with our results, we can showcase the photo of the business owner, and we can showcase how many. Uh, other people they have in the cycle. So by using uh, you know the blog, you will be able to generate maybe like 20 or 30 percentage more traffic to your site. Um, I would suggest you then to start working with the uh, link earning campaign. You can keep working with the content marketing, publish articles um, that related to your products on other websites. Maybe you can create some infographics. Maybe you can engage people on the forums and blogs. We use special tools called Acrefs just to do some research on related resources and then we're trying to publish some content there with the backlink. Remember that the backlinks right now is not really, uh, the, the, the account of the backlinks is not really the main factor. The question is every single link that you get is supposed to really bring the traffic to the site. And if you, if, if Google see that this particular link brings the users and if those users stay on the site, uh, Google will trust this link more. So it's not about quantity, it's more about the quality. The better backlinks you receive, the better uh, results, the better ranking will be. Um, keep in mind that some of the stores that we work with, they actually related for the like local market. So if your store is actually you know, related to um, scale targeting, please make sure that you register your business on you know, Google Map. Maybe you can uh, create an account on Yellow Pages, Yelp, and stuff like that. So in this particular case, you will be able that if people are searching for, let's say, dress in specific location, you will be able to showcase your site and get traffic from this uh, channel. Um, if you run cost per click 
uh, AdWords campaign, I would suggest you to run the product listing ads for sure, because in in our experience, those kind of ads is like about 30% better in terms of the results than usual no, traditional ads. Maybe you can also submit your product feeds for um, uh, special sites like shopping.com or find.com and so on. That might try to do some affiliate marketing channels, some uh, affiliate sales. Um, you can for sure engage people in forums and blogs, absolutely. Um, it's it worth to create the coupon codes um, and submit those coupon codes on different websites. Uh, maybe you can organize kind of daily deals and upload those daily deals to special sites. Uh, maybe you can use like group one and stuff like that to get the traffic. And uh, of course, when you have channel you use, you spend so much time and money, it's worth to start working with with a remarketing campaign. So we design different banner ads for our clients. Uh, traditionally, for the e-commerce business, we create the ad uh, for the common remarketing. We have, when people go to the site and read right from the home page, then we can create a dynamic ad that basically showcases product that people look at on the site. We also can create the banner ad that's related to the specific section. And then, once you leave the site, then the, those products that keep following and people click on those banner ads and go back to the site. So, if you don't even have like much money, that's something that I would suggest you to install. That may cost you maybe $200 a month, but that will be a good value. Because people will leave your site, they live in without buying anything, and that's the great way to drive them back. And of course, the social channels is social channel is one of the you know biggest net right now. So you will be able to target people by their interest, by their location, by their age. And especially with the Facebook, you can target people who actually visited your site. You can target people by email. So if you already have like uh, 1,000 emails, you can upload those emails into the Facebook, and then you will be able to target friends of those people. And that's very, you know, very important way to broadcast about your brand and um, you know deliver just better experience. The final goal of the entire marketing campaign is make sure that you reach the same person from the blog, you reach them from the forum, you reach them on the Facebook, you reach them on the Google app, and uh, finally you drive them to the site, understand what he wants, and then present you know, what he wants in the right time. So I feel very important to optimize uh, the product page because the product page is the most important page. So I, I feel like Victoria probably could describe more, um, you know, about the particular product page things. Um, Victoria, go ahead. Hello, uh, my name is Victoria. Thank you for joining today. And I'm going to tell you about product pages. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, let me find my slides. Um, product pages are a key factor of any e-commerce store. And uh, firstly, we will find out how visitors see pages on your website. Um, did you know that people stay on web pages only for 10 to 20 seconds before they leave? Eye movement tracking refers to the complete pass uh, that the human eye takes when looking at a web page and it helps us to use uh, this uh, seconds wisely. F pattern is secure because uh, users typically uh, scan horizontally less and less as their eyes move forward. Um, so this leads us to a need of properly managing a product page content so that the page would be able to catch users' eyes. Um, if speaking of product and website pages, uh, visitors um, are usually uh, some strange things happen, I'm sorry. Huh. Um, um, average website users spending 69% of their time looking at the left side of the web page. So you have to make sure um, your important eye 
caching elements should be placed on the left hand side. Uh, you can see it here, um, uh, F pattern model, uh, so it's very important uh, thing. You can place like guarantees or special offers there to make them noticeable. Uh, I understand that we're not designers, but we must know the basics of product page design. Uh, here's like uh, seven main design tips for a website and pages. Uh, you have to place your logo at the top left uh, of the site and do not have uh, the head banner on your pages or main page uh, distract from that image because it's branding and uh, you have to um, send this brand uh, message to customers directly and without distractions. Um, you can place important content on the left side of the page, it's preferably. Uh, navigation bars should be across the top, uh, preferably. Um, consider FI movement pattern when writing content and playing uh, image layout. And also every page um, has uh, some text uh, almost as, as usual and first two paragraphs on every page should state the most important info. Don't include a lot of text uh, as users won't read it. Um, let's speak about visual product presentation. Uh, of course, larger, better quality images help sell more products. In fact, recent studies show that larger images can increase e-commerce sales by up to 9%. Uh, along with image size and quality, you should also consider quantity. Having uh, multiple images for one product showing different features and angles will only benefit your shoppers when it comes to making a decision on whether to buy or not to buy. Uh, so the main requirements to product images are good quality and proper size. Uh, the size must not be not too heavy because of sale factors and multiple images showing different product features and angles uh, must be included to the pages. Uh, Amasti has uh, a color swatches pro expansion um, which presents configurable products on a new level by animating boring text attributes. Um, it has uh, such features as um, uh, zooming and you can also use images for attribute selection. Uh, there's no need to specify price difference for associated products, new image details uh, with elegant zoom and light box effects and um, also you can see other features uh, following the link to our website. Uh, if you want to stand out among competitors, uh, there's such thing as uh, 360 degree view. Surprisingly, but it's still not common these days. Uh, some companies saw that conversions from products that use 300 degree view increased by 27% uh, when compared to the original. <laughs> Isn't it convincing enough to give it a try? Um, here's some uh, cases about uh, images and we have to beware how we use people on images. Uh, you can look carefully at the screen. This is heat mapping of two almost the same images. Nothing really changed in the image other than the girl's eyes. Eye tracking shows that the di direction of the model's gaze forced uh, you to look more at the product. The same thing goes for calls to actions or any other important elements of the page. Um, if you are going to use images of people, make sure that eyes are looking at the most important web page elements. Um, this uh, purpose of this eye tracking lesson is to help you understand uh, that women look at images at the web pages differently than men. Summarizing all your effort on one gender uh, have a great potential to boost your venue. So you have to know your target audience and uh, focus all your efforts on it. Uh, from pictures to videos, uh, people love media. Uh, if you put media on a page, people are more likely to focus on it uh, compared to the text on the page. And if you have text on the page, you, you can try to visualize it. 
just look at how uh, you used to look at Google search results before they started adding images and videos. Uh, now you see that F pattern model view uh, breaks uh, down because uh, of images and other media. Uh, as for product presentation uh, and description in text, uh, of course you need to tell the customers all these uh, routine things uh, about the product like fabric, feed, size, style and other details. But since uh, you're addressing real people uh, and not aliens, it is a manner uh, this uh, use the manners they speak and understand. So it, they will get your message directly and understand it. Uh, now I want to tell you about absolutely must-haves for product pages. Uh, first one is uh, fast page load. Recent study has found that an average product page takes seven seconds to load. Slower page response um, uh, time results in an increase in page abandonment. The page abandonment, um, you can see it on this chart, uh, that um, the more seconds the page loads, the higher cart abandonment rate. Um, Amast is currently developing the solution for this problem. Uh, it calls uh, full page cache. Uh, we'll launch it next, next week, uh, but uh, you can contact me for pre-ordering and I'll give you a discount. Um, as for second must-have, uh, it is customer also view blog. Um, you can show products relevant to customers' interests to stimulate them to buy more. This will help to increase average order amount. Um, using a master solution for related products, you'll be able um, automatically choose related combinations, hide out of stock items, choose product view images, and other great features. Here's how it looks on Magenta. Uh, the related products bar and uh, below you can see um, upsells block. Um, as for product labels, uh, they must be vivid and catchy. Uh, they will help uh, your products become noticeable. You can highlight any type of product, special offers, important product video, new products or anything you like. Using MIC product labels, uh, you'll be able to set priority uh, for labels, time period for their display, show labels based on various conditions and more. Um, here you can see a uh, standard magenta interface and uh, how labels look on a uh, category page and on products. You can change the labels and write anything you like on them. As for reviews, um, they must uh, be together with social buttons. According to Neil's uh, report, 92% of consumers trust word of mouth recommendations above all other forms on of advertising. This means not having reviews on your product pages will turn away the biggest part of this 92 percent. Um, you can implement any product reviews extension to Magenta. It would not, not only encourage users to make a purchase, but also attract more traffic um, to your site as Google also indexes reviews. And it's a good place to, uh, to add keywords and to write optimized reviews for your pages. Um, product testing videos. Um, the studies have shown that uh, everyone knows Zappos.com. Uh, Using videos, Zappos increased their sales by between 6 and 30 uh, percent. Adding videos will not only increase conversion rates, um, but also increase brand engagement uh, and will give opportunity to tie in online videos, offline campaigns, as you sell not only digital, digital products and other great ideas. Um, 
the videos give a sense of real products, allow to see products in details and show real product ideas. They are must-haves. Uh, breadcrumbs uh, is uh, like a type of secondary navigation scheme that reveals the user's location in a website. Uh, using them, you'll get quicker website indexation, stand out in organic search, high rankings in search results, SDR increase, more relevant traffic, and a lower bounce rate. I'll we'll have an extension for that. Uh, it, is, it is called Google Snippets. You can see uh, the plain uh, search result, which is before and after implementing uh, rich snippets. Um, we added uh, price, uh, availability in stock, reviews, rating. Um, you can also add uh, author of your website and uh, uh, organization. This is a great tool, which is really easy to install and it attracts a lot of attention on search results. Um, your product page should uh, can correctly inform visitors if the item is available or not. Uh, here, uh, custom stock status or stock statuses come to help you. Uh, when non-in-stock information is out there, visitors have the choice to move on and look for an, an alternative. If they find that the item is out of stock when they add it to cart or maybe a checkout, uh, they will close your website and never come back. Uh, here is an, you can see the features of our extension. Um, you, can, uh, you can assign stock statuses to product automatically or manually, uh, give ability to subscribe uh, for customers, uh, place different uh, uh, stock statuses, it doesn't matter uh, like which ones, you can make up whatever you like. Um, you can also show statuses in shopping cart and uh, there is uh, compatibility with standard Magento stock statuses. There are more features, you can follow the link and see uh, the whole list. There's uh, also such thing as common Zoom pages. Uh, when visitors land on a common Zoom pages, um, chances they will never uh, return again uh, are high if the page is lack of information about the service or the feature launch date. So properly designed common Zoom page um, not only pushes uh, customer to a higher level in purchase funnel, it also keeps uh, visitors in the loop by getting them to subscribe uh, to the news update. Uh, it, is, it also attracts uh, traffic and collect leads while, you, while the product is not still launched. And it's a great opportunity to use. There is, in the agenda, there is such an opportunity to um, use and create landing pages. We have the, the extension for this, um, as you see on the slide. Um, it's very simple and one of the most effective methods of sales promotion. Uh, here's an example of our landing pages model use. Uh, well, let's imagine that um, since Patrick Day will be in a month. The demand for green clothes will increase and you can use it to track traffic to your store, which will bring additional revenue. Create a landing page in Magenta, place all green color clothes you sell on this page, optimize the page uh, for Google, uh, write proper meta info and uh, description, and you will receive highly relevant traffic which has the desire to buy. Uh, this will definitely increase your conversion rates. Um, you can also create such landing pages not considering holidays, but for example for on-sale products just like on the slide. Uh, sale optimized worlds uh, and uh, all products on the page are on sale. So Google will understand this and if visitors will search for 
on sale products. Uh, it's uh, highly recommended to uh, Google will highly recommend your page. Okay, and uh, now we're going to speak about the second part of my presentation is the way to address a checkout flow. Checkout is the only one of, of steps uh, of the purchase funnel. Lots of things depend on previous steps, uh, but we know for sure your store must lead customers to the right product search and the next step uh, after that is adding the product to cart. This means that um, crucial points of your store are navigation and cart checkout areas. Every online store faces the abandoned cart phenomenon. Let's speak about it in details. Uh, E-commerce sites have an average cart abandonment, uh, as you see, from, from 55 to 75 percent. It's enormous amount, and uh, all world tries to decrease it. Uh, shopping cart abandonment uh, is uh, can be described as when shoppers place item in cart and don't buy it, and um, shoppers uh, start checkout but they don't uh, finish it. Um, the reasons for that. If we understand the reasons, we could find out uh, the answers and the ways to fix it. The shopper might be just browsing or shoppers don't trust your site. Uh, the checkout process is too complicated. Creating the account for checking out is too complicated. Shipping period is too long. The rates are expensive. Uh, visitors wanted to compare prices and not ready to purchase. These are the main reasons and um, every store has at least one. So there is a lot of space to optimize. It. But uh, it's not frightening uh, as it seems because uh, there are a lot of checkout um, increase optimization strategies. So um, we will consider some of them now. Um, first is display uh, clear and progressive process indicator. Let the users know how many steps are involved uh, in your checkout process. This gives a clear view of the whole process and the time it will make to submit the order. Second uh, tip is to make registration optional. People don't always like to share their personal info uh, unless they recognize your site. Let them make the transaction as a guest to gain your trust. Uh, some stats show that 24% of e-commerce uh, customers abandon their shopping carts when asked to retrieve uh, an account to purchase. It's a lot and we don't want to lose these people. As for third tip, um, avoid asking the same info repeatedly. For example, in the purchase process, uh, after asking the billing address, give an option to just check mark the box if shipping address is the same uh, as one of billing ones. It's really easy and it saves uh, nerves and time for customers. Include uh, trust factors. It's extremely important to inject a sense of security among the customers to deal with the fears related to the online transactions. Fifth tip is to display the complete payment summary without any hidden costs. Uh, it's one of the main reasons of cart abandonment. The online retailers uh, should better uh, show the complete payment summary clearly uh, on the checkout page. Uh, and with all the breakdowns, including the shipping, charges, import, or other taxes. Other tip is to clear shipping and return policy. Uh, a study by a consultancy reveals the biggest disconnect between retailers and consumers to be in clearly displaying return policies. 88% of customers point this to be a vital factor for the complexion of transaction along with the shipping costs. It's one of the main um, reasons of cart abandonment also. Um, 
Other tip is to keep a functional back down of button because this button is um, important for customers. It's very natural for them to want to recheck the order details or address provided by them. And also don't forget to save this, uh, the data they uh, has already uh, entered because it's really very annoying to enter it again. Uh, eighth tip is to give maximum payment options. How many payment options do you have on your websites? Um, you should always provide as many payment options as possible apart from the card, uh, integrating payment through PayPal and other popular payment methods. Uh, they are a very good motivator for the completion of the checkout process. Ninth tip is uh, making a registration at your website the value-added process. Um, you can attach value to, to the registration. Outline the benefits of getting registered to encourage more and more people uh, to create an account prior to the purchase. They must know why they should do it. Uh, and the 10th tip is, of course, a must extension. We have uh, the, this extension improves uh, standard merchant checkout. Um, it makes it fast and compact, implementing one-step checkout instead of instead of standard six-step Magenta checkout will bring you better sales conversion and fewer abandoned cards. You'll be able to combine cards and checkout, uh, customize columns or fields and do other great stuff. Um, so, uh, have you maybe have any questions? Um, I've created uh, a little to-do list on checkout improvement. Uh, you can um, do it after the webinar. Uh, look your store, uh, look your store with um, these steps and maybe you'll find something that uh, you can optimize. And of course, um, no matter what changes you make to your website, you should try uh, to be test them to make sure uh, they improve your conversion rates. Because uh, copying without testing is a bad idea. Just because something worked for someone else doesn't mean it will work for you. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can ask them uh, at Twitter, on my Twitter and uh, at my email. I think uh, this is all, and now. Thank you so much, Victoria. Thank you so much, Paul. <clears throat> it was really informative. And uh, uh, I would like to offer our loyal audience some bonuses for her staying with us till the end. Um, this one goes from MST. Uh, you can get 50% discount for any Magento extension available at MST store. Um, you can ask for the coupon at uh, victoria.lenyanka at msti.com. Uh, so you should write Victoria to her email and um, another oh sorry and another special bonus uh, would be from promoter company sorry um, and uh, this is a free audit of your website. Um, so if you feel that you are kind of stuck with online marketing strategy or tactics uh, for your web store, uh, we would be more than happy to give you a free short audit of your website. You will get a chance to talk with a Google certified expert. Um, he or she will do a quick usability audit of your existing site, uh, quick SEO audit, review your analytics, um, audit your PPC campaigns if you have any, or advise you on how you could make the good use and benefit of pay-per-click advertising. And also you will receive some general online marketing strategy insights regarding uh, specifically your store. Uh, to make use of this audit, please um, follow the link that I'm sending right now to the chat and uh, fill out the form. Uh, thank you so much again for uh, joining us today and staying uh, with us till the end. Um, 
if you come up with any questions after uh, we break up the connection, uh, please feel free to email our speakers, Paul and Victoria. You can see their contact details on the screen. And of course, uh, stay tuned for any upcoming events and promotions from Promoter NMST. Uh, you can see um, the URLs of our blogs. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Um, thank you so much. Uh, hope I will see you online soon again. Uh, have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.